Hey, it's just so Trish, and it's a Walmart haul! Yeah! Okay, so I totally hit Walmart yesterday. I probably shouldn't have. But we were in need. Well, were we in need? You know, Mama was in need of these. So, we went there, and too much money later... I want to show you what I got because I got some really cute stuff I want to tell you about. It and I thought they were so adorable. Anyways, so here we go. Okay, so I went to Walmart to make sure I don't run out of these are the bomb diggity. I bought three of them. And I bought three of them because although I know Fiber One makes them and I love Fiber One. I mean, Fiber One is like the only reason and way I'm going to like be so super successful and not feel deprived at all. I might be becoming a Fiber One stalker on Instagram. I'm like, hey, you guys, I really love your food. And at the same time, I'm like, I'm, oh yeah, not totally being supported by this at all but fiber one if you want to send me free food i'm up for it okay but it was cheaper to buy three boxes of these than it was to get the 18 pack of fiber one so i got those and they're made by fiber one so i did get those and then i found so i'll start with the food and get to the other cute stuff later um i found these the little blonde whoo, the blonde brownies so I haven't tried those yet, but I did get, and I tried to stay reasonable because I could have like bought out the entire fiber one section. I did get these and I try not to buy the big box until I've tried something because I've had too many times. I like shop like a hoarder. Like I do shop like a hoarder. I'm like, I need four of everything. Oh, this looks good. Let me get four of everything. I'm that person. I try not to be, but I'm that person. But I went ahead and bought these. <laughs> these are so fantastic. And they're one point. I mean, there's just no way. Like, I eat them and I'm like, there's no way. Like, these, like, top the cheesecake. And then I was looking at the Fiber One and all the ways, like, they, like, then do it up even more. And I'm like, the world has just begun. Yeah. Anyway, I sound like a Fiber One commercial. But, oh, my goodness. These things are so good. But my body loves fiber. My body, like, thrives in the world of fiber. It's just how it is. I did find these, and I wanted to try them. And they had a coupon, so I was like, why not? These are Good Thins. And it's 23 pieces for 130 calories, 4 grams of fat, and 3 fiber. So in my book, like a 2 and a quarter, 2 points for flex points. But um, I got these, and there's three and a half servings in the box. So that could be an eight-point box if you eat it all at one time. Okay. One thing I did get. I found this. I was looking. I was hoping Aldi's had a light version of Thousand Island dressing, but they didn't. So I seen this really cool pinned recipe that is a Big Mac in a bowl. Yeah, Big Mac in a bowl. So, just Pinterest look it up. But, you know, I could do Weight Watcher points with it. That's one thing I did learn from doing Trim Healthy Mama was that eat something in a bowl and not wrapped. And, like, you get the same effect. Like, the egg roll in the bowl is so good. So, I, with that, got this because I was kind of craving something like that. So, I'm going to cook up a bunch of hamburger and I'm going to get it prepped out so I can kind of have a hamburger in a bowl on a big bed of lettuce. So I got that. Um, I couldn't find a generic brand because, you know, I would have totally got that. Anyway. Anyway, let me finish up my food. What I did go and purchase, and I'm glad I did. I got the imitation strawberry extract, the pure orange extract because that stuff's so cheap to make. It's always pure. Always get pure orange extract. Um, banana and raspberry. This stuff, man, just like cough syrup. <laughs> anyway, I got it because um, there's a mama out there. Pinterest this one, too. Hawaiian Punch Good Girl Moonshine. I still like the Good Girl Moonshine. I mean, 
I don't want to drink it with lemon and any more like I used to. I need a little change up, some peach tea or some raspberry zinger. But, but, um, after eating corned beef and cabbage last night, my body is like retaining fluid. It always happens. The day after St. Patty's Day, the day after corned beef, potatoes, and cabbage, I always, the sodium is so high. So I'm like, and I've been kind of addicted not addicted, but just filling some need, some crystal lighting it. And I don't really am big on those, but I did. So I'm like, you know what? We'll do a little good girl moonshine. Look, I got a part back there sticking up. Um, we'll do a little good girl moonshine. And then that way, clean the system out and get off that for a day kind of deal. And I've been kind of diet soda too. Anyway. But we're not here to talk about food anymore. So, again, our whew, our Walmart has these still out. Um, somebody has found me. All right. So, what I did was um, we got more of these. We've been using these for our spelling. And we've been using loose leaf paper for grammar and for reading. And I'm like, oh, these work out so great. So we're just, I just got, you know, because when you got a pile of kids, just a few more. And I'll stock back up. And we ran through our stash already this year. So who knows with that. Um, next up, next up. Here we go. New DVD player. We have broken everyone we have been given and blessed with so many i know we haven't okay new dvd player i had to get i just i got the middle of the road on the cheap ones i didn't get the cheapest one but i got you know middle of the road i can't believe how light these are i was telling the kids i'm like man Back in the day, we used to rent a VCR, and we rent some VCR, VHS tapes, and it was huge, and this thing is like nothing. And they're like, oh, wow, Mom, that's really old. No, they didn't do that. They were really nice. But, um, so, we got a new DVD player because the DVD player has broken, and all the DVD players are broken. I don't know why. It's just this. But I spent the $3 on the replacement charge. She's just going to scream. And totally, I think we're going to get our money back on that one. Okay, so on to just over-the-top cuteness. Okay. I went clothes shopping. I love these. I don't know if you know, I am a tank top girl. It's not that I'm out wearing a tank top, usually. I just like them under my clothes. I've been wearing the nursing tank tops for like the last three years. I really like them. We're not going to even talk about bra issues, but anyway, so they had these like camis for a dollar 68 and I thought, oh, you know, they're going to be cheap because I don't like like the ribbed ones because they all stretch out. These things were awesome. And of course I'm getting a large yellow. And so I went, I got like two and I'm like, oh, these are great. And I can wear them with a sports bra. I'm getting the same effect if I'm wearing, you know, it's great. Every time I've gone back, like, they're gone. So I've been hitting the different Walmarts trying to find them. So I was able to find one more to add to my stash. First, it's about me. Then it's about the kids' stuff. I did find these. I got another pair of flip-flops because mine blew out. In Florida, flip-flops are the primary source of shoeing. Just so you know. You do all things in your flip-flops. And weddings are not even off. The list for wearing flip-flops too it's a southern thing it's a florida thing all right i did get new sandals because i'm going to need them for easter anyway so and my shoe stash is like down to nothing nothing because every time i once had an eight and a half foot now my foot is an easily nine and a half foot Every time I have babies, my feet grow. So I have these shoes that are just awesome. And my foot has grown and grown and grown and grown. So, like, I have, like, no sh real shoes at all. At all. All right. So where we spent the bulk of our money yesterday. 
Are they so precious? Oh my goodness, are they cute? I really love the Walmart shoes and I love them for the kids because they outgrow them. The granimals just rock. They outgrow them so fast. They're light, you know, they're not, you can get about two kids out of these, you know, for the short time you wear them. They're not a forever shoe, but no shoe really is. But I thought they were just darling and sister needs some shoes. Sister needs some shoes, but, and I'm not a big, like, not, I, we have piles of shoes. I'll talk about that later, but anyway, got her those. And then, no, Florida girl is complete without a pair of sandals. So I got her some sandals. Thought they were cute. Cute. These are actually Carter's. So I think they're like 15 bucks each. I mean, but you know what? I can't go... I used to buy the really expensive shoes back when I had one kid and a full-time job, but I don't have that anymore. All right, and so then my son, I thought he was a seven poor, or six. He had a size six shoes on, and I went to put on a pair of shoes, and I was like, his foot was squished in there. I had no idea. So he got, the three-year-old got a pair new. He had to get his sandals because old stink foot doesn't ever want to keep them on anyway. And then I got him a pair of tennis shoes. I like the blue inside. I really like the way they've been doing their colors. Um, for a cheap pair of shoes, they I think they look really co cool and cute. So I got that. So I got the shoes. So we ended up walking out with six pairs of shoes. Mama's flip flops. And then one of the problems I've run into too is like I just have not... Um, I don't know. I didn't keep the clothes from the other kids because I thought I was done. And I'm not keeping clothes again because I think I'm done having children. More children from my body. I'm all up for adopting. But I think my body is done growing them. So I haven't kept clothes at all. And nor do I have the space to do it. And one of the problems I've run into is like very limited on clothes. We... It's been haphazard around here for clothes. And I got totally blessed by one of my mom's friends who went and bought somebody's used clothes lot. But most of them are 24 months to three, 36 months 3T. And there was like a small stash of 18 months, but not very many. So we kind of had to boost up. So, oh, isn't that cute? Isn't that just so precious? I should probably make these, but... Mama ain't got time for that. I loved it. I love the one pieces and I love how the, what this is. So I picked up that and then I do, you know, and that was seven dollars. Seven bucks. And then I like, I just like onesies that, you know, are cute. And you gotta love them when they're under four dollars. So there's that one. And then there's this one. And I'm like, oh my goodness, won't that just be so cute? Anyway. So that was my shopping haul. All right, 13 minutes in. I think I did a great job. Oh my goodness, look at my hair. I'm The whole intent was like to contain myself not to get fixated on my hair. Because I mean, last thing you want to do is like, oh, Trish picking at her Trish fro again. Look at this thing. Look at it. Okay, so here's what happened. Here's what happened. I thought I would video a trailer last night because I'm like, oh, my channel needs a trailer, which I'm still going to do. But my hair has grown out to be a length that's a little bit crazy. So I'm at the point for the first time in my life, you better do something with it before you just like totally, you have to do something with it. You look a mess. And I look at my older videos and, you know, granted, I'm seriously deep in postpartum depression as I was making those videos. <laughs> Y'all couldn't love me enough to be like, Trish, let's come over and let's fix your hair. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought some of you might have loved me a little more than that. I seriously needed somebody to take care of me. And I mean, that was granted. That's what it shows in those videos. I needed somebody to come take care of me. Nobody did. So I could have used somebody to say, Trish, we need to calm that color. We need to calm the cut. I mean, I had some days that it was cute. 
but I had a lot of other days. It was a mess. And now, granted, I totally missed the coloring. I'm like, it'll look fine. It'll look so cute. So, missing a color. So, I'm doing my hair last night. My grandmother used to be like, why are you so gray? I'm like, I'm not that gray. I got this big old patch of gray up here. I'm doing this number last night, and I could see, like, the whole sides are grayed out. And I'm like, man. And so, like, I'm having, like, that. I don't care. But I'm not 40 yet. Hmm. And at the same time, I've thought about going platinum white kind of deal. I haven't decided that yet. So, my thought last night was, I'm going to make a video. I'll do my hair, get it fixed up. Every time I try. So, I get out of the shower. I, like, literally dry it. It stands just straight up. Because my hair is just straight up so much body. It's just straight. So I'm like, I will do it. I got the flat iron out, which I really could use some lessons on that. Got the flat iron out. And I just went to town. And I'm like, I can get this to calm down. The more I tried to calm it down, the bigger it got. I already taken a shower at this point and I'm like I got all kinds of product in my hair I mean you can tell it looked like I went out last night and all I did was try to do my hair to make a video so anybody brand new would be like oh check your shout she's kind of cool so I'm like whatever I give up I give up I went to bed I mean I don't know it looks kind of cool but I don't know yeah, it, I woke up with a full Trish Fro. So, sorry. I had to do a four-minute chit-chat about that. But I figured if you were hanging out for a um, Walmart haul, you'd be okay with that. I probably should invest in curlers. And I'm in a debate. Do I want to keep it really short? But if I keep it, like, I like it, you know, I probably need my sides a little shorter. Um, I don't know what to do. I have not figured it out. But I do have some, like, crazy hair. It always does crazy stuff. It like owns its own mind. It probably owns part of mine. Anyways, enough of my chitter chatter. It's kind of an off day. My husband done took some of the kids off hunting for some turkey. So hopefully we will have some fresh turkey. Because that would be so yummy. And um, I got the Littles and Bubba. It shall be an interesting day. I know I turned it totally into a vlog. Um, but, but I got lots of things cooking up, trying to at least. Anyways, I will talk to you later before I can't even upload this long, horribly long video. So I hope you liked what I got. I'm going to tell you I'm loving Fiber One. So you should probably, if you love me enough or find me somewhat humorous, you should tell them to send me free food. I'd appreciate free food. Um, we are kicking some Trim Healthy Mama drinks. I will tell you, I think I'm going to put a video out on when Trim Healthy Mama doesn't work and why. So, um, expect the hate mail to roll on them because they're a little cultish. The following is a bit cultish. I noticed that when I was in it. And I hope you're loving my baby girl outfits. I think she's going to be so cute. I'd model it, but then that's going to be her screaming, so... And a new DVD player and some more writing tools. Anyways, I will talk to you later. It was always great visiting with you. Even though on my side of it, I'm just sitting here talking to myself to a camera. But it is fun when you guys leave me comments. I love it. So comment, share, like, and subscribe. I will talk to you later. Peace out.